We're playing City Skylines right now, and if you don't know my name, I am Steven Marqueteros, and today we are going to be playing more City Skylines, and I think that I'm just going to do a whole bunch of gameplay today, because... Uh, I just have a lot of time on me. Uh, if you didn't know right now in America, it is pretty much spring vacation and everyone's off for the week and they're doing their, their things and, you know, right now I'm trying to deal with this massive, massive, like, backup on the on the freeway. I mean, I thought that all of these roundabouts would be great for the city and everyone would be able to get to where they're going efficiently, but apparently I have done something very wrong because this doesn't seem to be the case. Now, what's the reason behind this? Well, I mean, one is because, like, everyone's trying to go where everyone else is trying to go, and that's just a problem in general. But I think another part of the problem here is that this intersection is being you know, a bit ridiculously slow. Well, I mean, this one's being a bit slow, too, and I don't know where people are trying to go with this. Now, this mod that I installed does not work right now. It's a, uh, it's a traffic analyzer mod that allows you to click on the roads, and then you can find out where everyone's going, so then you can build your routes more effectively and more efficiently. However, um... This isn't necessarily working very well at the minute, uh, because the game updated a while ago, and so a lot of the mods and a lot of the buildings aren't working correctly. There's a ton of more mods that I've installed, I, I don't even know, I installed the first person camera one that has been a little bit, um... A little bit sketchy, and I don't exactly know how to use it. I mean, the, the best use of it is definitely to go into, like, a vehicle and watch the vehicle go down the road. Uh, this is a lot of fun, especially if you have a really big city, because you can just watch stuff drive from, you know, to and fro, and get all of their stuff done. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. I just realized how low quality that Don't Litter Please sign is on the back of that truck. Alright, let's actually get out of this. Um, I had to download another updated version of that one because the one that was on the most subscribed list actually, uh, didn't allow you to get out of the first person mode. So how are we gonna fix up this city? Well, uh, we do have to replace a lot of these roads because, uh, while well, I wouldn't like to admit it, there are several problems with these avenues that I did not know of until a bit ago. Uh, so if we actually replace these with the four-way roads here, or these four-lane roads here, now it actually removes all traces of stoplights. Notice that? There's no more stoplights, not everything is sort of like a weird yield sign. I'm slowly becoming convinced that in this game, all vehicles are controlled by the Google streetcar thing of, you know, the, the self-driving cars, because they don't need to stop. They can just go, and they know when people are coming, and they... Yeah, they just, they just know everything that's happening pretty much immediately. So now that we've done that, actually, I didn't, I didn't do that here. Let's upgrade this last piece. We can't. All right, lovely. It uh, doesn't really matter anyway. It doesn't really affect itself there. Uh, now we can see that some other issues are caused by these. I'm not actually sure what's causing this issue. I think it's just people not being able to turn fast enough. Uh, how are we going to fix that? Well, uh, looky here. If we remove this intersection and actually just make this road longer, I think that'll deal with a lot of the, uh, the issues we're having. So let's curve this puppy around like that. And we'll see if more cars can actually fit onto that now. Um, yeah, more cars are fitting on that, uh, therefore allowing traffic to work a bit faster. Another problem, I don't know why we haven't uh, done this, but we just took these up with each other. I mean, why haven't we done that? That makes no sense to me. Anyone trying to go through here has to go around and, you know, it's just gonna, it's just gonna back up traffic pretty darn quick. Uh, so if we get that done, that'll allow this to move faster and then allow those people to go wherever the heck I guess they're trying to go. Okay, uh, this is moving again. This is moving. Okay, let's upgrade this to a four-lane road as well. Uh, there we go. Actually, we're taking it down from a six-lane to a, a four-lane, but I think it'll work efficiently. I mean, look at that. I mean, it's pretty much just eliminated all forms of traffic on that road. Now everything is trying to go if, like, as efficiently, as efficiently as possible. Oof. We might actually want to bulldoze the little connection between these two because that's going to block up traffic. Uh, everyone's trying to go through here when they really should be going through here. It doesn't matter. I mean... There, actually it does, uh, because these people are trying to merge on here, so let's uh, try to create a system where everyone has to do that. Alright, and then once this traffic jam gets finished and over with, I think we're going to be a lot better off, because then just stuff isn't going to be continuously backed up. Alright, so everyone trying to go there is getting there, these people will be able to do that, and hopefully some of the services that I feel like we're missing in this city will be found. Alright, uh, apparently we're having a death issue. Let's look at our hospital system and see where we're on that. We haven't unlocked uh, crematoriums yet, which is probably where I'm suffering. Uh, so we either have to build more cemeteries or we have to uh, build our population up really fast. And as much as I like to build my population up fast, I think we're just going to have to build more cemeteries for the time being. Uh, where do I want to build these? I don't know where I want to build these. 
crumpled one, I guess, sort of here. And that should deal with that problem temporarily. Uh, we can hope. We can hope that'll deal with that problem temporarily. We definitely do need to get this population up and uh, sparking. Or otherwise, we're going to suffer from a lot, a lot of issues. Okay, so let's build sort of a road system off of this freeway right here, since this freeway is pretty efficient and it connects up with a bunch of jobs that uh, we can create in the city. Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to build sort of an off-ramp. Uh, I'm going to hook this up to a four-lane road, uh, because the four-lane roads are pretty much the best and most simple way to transport. Actually, in order to do this, we're going to build a road down here, and then we're going to build a connector up here. You'll see what I'm doing in a second, but this makes sure that everything is straight and in line with everything else so that we don't have any problems. Even though we actually can disconnect this, we might end up reconnecting it in a bit. And then off of this sort of uh, plus sign that we've constructed, we can build other feeder roads. And then we can fill this up with residential. And I think we could actually do a curved road along the, uh, the shore here. And I think that would look quite nice. There we go. Look at that. Nice curved road on the side. Now, if we wanted to build a dam, we could still do that at some point. I don't know if I have dams unlocked. I do not have dams unlocked. I almost did, apparently. Or we almost do, apparently, but I don't at the second. So, we'll just keep building more residential areas because that is going to be our method of how we get stuff done. Uh, we just have to unlock everything, and then we can really go out creating our own stuff and do our own things. Okay, and then I'll just hook a lot of this up. All right, I don't know if we're gonna be running out of water or electric services soon, so we're gonna have to definitely check up on that in a second and see what we can do to help that out. This road's gonna be really congested by the amount of uh, by the amount of people turning on that, but I think that looks all right. Is it possible if we could run this road underneath of the highway? Let's see if we can. Uh, yes, we can. It's going to be a bit rough because we have to get it through there, but I think at least after that it'll be it'll be fine. Okay, and then we can run this along here. And then we can actually hook it back up to this other system here. And look at that, we have a nice uh, waterfront road, and we can actually... Uh, I think they've just added this to the game. We can add a quay. Yes, a quay. Uh, that's an actual thing now. And I've installed a mod called Quay Anarchy, uh, which apparently allows you to just basically build quays wherever the heck you feel like it, which is kind of nice because sometimes I don't feel like building a quay where the game wants me to build it. All right, and see, we can build this beautiful long-distance quay right along the, uh, the side here, and now we'll never have any flooding problems, especially if I try to do something. And look at that! We've already reached small city status just by removing that traffic jam where we've unlocked the hydropower plant, train stations, and cargo terminals. Awesome. We've unlocked the train. Look at that. High-tech housing as well will uh, enable us to increase our land values artificially. And that is going to be something that is beautiful. Look, we already have another traffic jam. I'm, I'm not really sure where everyone is trying to go. I think they're going from over here to over here, and I think that's causing a lot of problems. I'm actually not liking this industrial district. It's causing a lot more problems than it should be because people are trying to go back and forth between it. So I think, since there's not a whole lot of people working here right now, or if there is, they're now out of electricity. That's actually another problem we might want to solve right now. Can we build that dam I've been talking about building? That would be provide 32 megawatts of power. Now, let's see, can we make it any larger? 64 megawatts of power, we're getting up there. Let's see if we can reduce the size of this road over here so uh, we can then build something more, uh, you know, amazing. Alright, apparently that's the side we're having problems on. 112 megawatts, I'm starting to like these numbers a bit more. Alright, alright. Or we could buy this property over here. Yes, we could buy this one and then we could dam over here. And I think that would provide us with uh, something more useful, per se. Alright, let's do that. Uh, do we actually have land we can unlock? Yes, we do. All right, let's do that. We'll purchase this block of land here, and we'll see about damming it up to create a more sustainable power system. Okay, ooh, that'd be 96. Oh, crap, I didn't actually mean to build that there. Oh, crap, that probably costed a ton of money. All right, whatever, we got it back. And I've only uh, slightly messed up the water grid. All right, 96, and that's 112. I need a really big dam. I need a massive dam, a mega dam. Yeah, that big. I want to go over there. <laughs> that'd be a bit. That'd be a bit large. All right. Let's see if we can actually do this over here. Slope too sleep steep yet. Uh, do do, do um, sixty four megawatts. 
This is going to be like the most interesting part of this video. 160 megawatts uh, we can get out of this, which I think is a decent bit. Albeit we're no longer building this really that straight. Oh, there we go. We get uh, over here and get a bunch. Oh, darn it. We're going to run out of the city limits again. That's what I wasn't trying to do. I hate it when I run out of the city limits. Because then you just bought more land. Alright, let's... Make this big, but not too big. There we go. I like that. That's a, that's going to be a nice dam right there. All right, and now we just let the water back up, and hopefully it will solve a lot of our power issues. Okay, the river is doing its thing. All right, all right. I'm liking this. I'm liking where this is going. Okay, it's probably going to flood a little bit over here as well, uh, because it's going to take up a bunch of land behind it. And then, hopefully, we'll begin outputting a bunch of power. Okay, yeah, we're, uh, this, uh, the city's gonna get a little bit, uh, let's say dry. It's gonna get a bit far away. I kind of built this quay preemptively, uh, especially since the water level's about to, you know, go, go down a lot when this actually begins outputting. All right, still backing up water, gaining on some land, hopefully. Either that or I'm just gonna run this entire river dry. Oh, we're suffering some, from some pretty serious power issues right now. How much power do we actually need? Well... Apparently we're producing a lot more, so I don't know why. Oh, because we destroyed this road. Oh, that explains a lot. I didn't realize that we had done that. Okay, let's connect this over and then reconnect that back to the power grid. All right, well, now that I've just done that, let's destroy it because we figured that we don't actually need this territory and that having this much industry is gonna be very bad for our uh, little empire that we're growing. Okay. Let's see, are we getting output? Are we getting power from the dam? We are not yet getting power from the dam. Okay, how much longer is this gonna take? Where is our uh, water table actually moving to? Let's see if we can hook this. So apparently now it's going backwards. Well, that's lovely. Ah, oh, cause it's diverting through this area. Ah, oh, darn. Could this be completely cutting off our power supply in this little area here that I didn't expect? Come on. If I just wasted all this money on this dam, that's not gonna be a good story. It is not going to be a good story. Come on. Don't make this happen. I think it's not going to work. I probably should have uh, thought about that a little bit more before I decided to uh, take actions that were a little bit out of my reach. We could buy this area, and then we could uh, do that as well. Or we could actually buy this area over here, and then deal with that. I think that's going to work out, because we can just block that up. And then we'll finally be better off. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully this will work. Okay, because now that we have all this new terrain, or all these new terraining tools, if we block this area off, we're just going to run this entire stream dry, wherever that's going to, way down there. Um, we'll finally, we'll finally have something sustainable. All right. And here we go. So we just have to, uh, we'll use this tool. I think this is a good tool. And then we just select this terrain height and a uh, large brush, and then we fill it in. There we go. And we've now constructed a little area to block off the water. All right, actually, let's make this even a little bit higher to meet up with the rest of the land. All right. All right, there, that, that meets up pretty good. So now that water can't go through there, it's going to come back around and hopefully it's going to allow our dam to actually produce at some point. Hmm. Yeah, we can see that the uh, the current is beginning to dry up as it's pushing back. So uh, we'll let that do its thing. In the meantime, we will construct this uh, little area over here. Wow, that traffic has actually gotten quite horrendous. Okay, now all that has sort of died out. Apparently we're suffering from water issues. Uh, what's happening? Come on, why is our pumping capacity going? Oh, because the uh, water level is now like way over there. And that is now polluted. Okay, well, it looks like we have to find a new area to get water. Oh, no. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it has to be, like, way over here. <laughs> oh, or in this little spot of water over here. Uh, on, on this in this spot here, we can sort of absorb some of it. I hope that doesn't use enough water to actually draw it out from behind the dam and kind of work against it. But, uh, you know, we can hope. All right, I think this dam might be our city's downfall. I really wanted it to work. All right, let's build an incredibly long power line over here. And there, it worked. And we'll build it across. 
and then we'll hook it up. And then we'll see if we can get water back. There we go. There we go. We've now got uh, 300,000. I think I want to actually turn these off because that is going to be a pain uh, to deal with all the sewage in the water supply. Look, it's making everyone ill. All right, there we go. Now people are feeling better. Of course, we didn't just kill off like half the population of the city. So we've had better days. We've had better days indeed. Okay, where are we on the power water situation? And it's still working against us. We've uh, started flooding stuff now. Uh, water isn't really sure it wants to pump out of there. Yeah, again, I uh, don't think this is working too well. Don't think this is working too well at all. It seems that like all of our water has, uh, is now flowing out of here and we've sort of become a little bit stuck because we don't have any supplies. We really are just relying on this to keep working. Ah, oh, darn it, I think I built those water pumps in the wrong spot. All right, let's bulldoze those and rebuild them again somewhere. Please give me a refund. I don't think it is. We've pretty much just blown all of our money too. Well, that's great. Oh, these are only $2,500, that's not too bad. Uh, uh, right there, okay. And... Over, over there. And I think all we have to do is actually just connect this whole thing up to the power supply. I just have a uh, power grid going pretty much everywhere at the moment. I mean, we have power lines all over the city. Okay, then that hooks up there. And hopefully, we'll now be getting some sort of sustainable power. Apparently that isn't working either, so... All right, come on, water. Come on, work with us. Don't you dare touch that interstate. Don't you dare touch that interstate. Come on. Yeah, you go back. You get back there. Okay. We're teaching the water who's boss today. And we flooded that bridge, but, you know, when was the last time we flooded a bridge? It'll be fine. Apparently, we're still having water issues. How are we having water issues? Our pumping capacity is 300,000. Where is half of our water going? Come on. Oh, we haven't hooked it up. <laughs> wow, that was a bit of a noob issue. Okay, and that should be good. Now, come on, come on everyone. We have, uh, we've got water, we've got water. Okay, we need to build office zones because people desperately need to work. We still need to hook this up to the interstate. I, I haven't even done that yet. I've been trying to. Okay, so uh, we can build this one off of here. Right. Come on. Come on. All right, like that, and this one off of here like this. And then we have to hook this up to the other direction as well. And we'll kind of run this over and cross. I don't know if you guys see how I'm gonna do this, but come on, there we go. And then we just run it down and we should be good. For that side at least, and then we can do the thing on the other side. Okay, and over, and over, and then down. Look at that, there we go, we have an on and an off for this system on each side. This will be good because we can just fill this up with a bunch of office, well actually we'll fill it up with commercial first because it's easiest to put commercial next to the areas here. And then we can fill up a lot of this with office zones. And that will provide a lot of jobs and opportunities for our workers. And then a lot of this can be sort of like high, high density residential as well. Okay, and then this will that'll just move a lot of people into this town. Uh, we just need a lot of workers and a lot of space. Okay, dam working yet? Yes, the dam is finally working, and so much so that we've actually flooded this water pumping station. Ah, oh, finally. I hope we haven't like yeah, we've sort of have created a little bit of a waterfall here, but. It'll be okay as long as it stays uh, in the direction that it needs to be going. Yeah, it sort of is, uh, it keeps pushing in this direction. It would have been great if we could block this off even more, but I don't think we can without changing too much more of the land. Uh, let's see if we can raise this up a little more. Come on, come on. I refuse. I refuse. It will not stand. Come on. Okay. Okay. I think uh, we've, we've done our best. We've done as much as we could to block that off. So it'll just kind of do its thing from now on. All right, but that looks good. There we go. We haven't hooked up any water supplies to this, so they're going to run dry if we don't do something about that. 
All right, now we're making money again as we have office zones and jobs, therefore increasing the residential demand. All right, I think we've uh, we've actually fixed this fixed the city up quite a bit. All right, and we'll just run. Space already occupied by what? What's there? I don't know what's there. That's a bit of a mystery. And we're down to like $9,000. We fixed this up just in time to get our city back under control. Otherwise, we were going to go into some serious debt pretty darn soon. I was able to spend $300,000 creating a power solution that barely even worked. I probably should have just built some more windmills and, you know, got it done with. But, you know, this was my alternative, and my alternative sort of worked. We also dried up a stream, too. But, uh, yeah, that looks like all we're going to do for this episode, guys. If you enjoyed watching City Skyline, please do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time.